Hey guys, welcome to part two of getting root on DE ICE. So we'll just jump right in where the last video left off. Um, basically, we have this encrypted file here in the FTP directory, and we need to figure out how to decrypt it. So if we start by opening it up in Vim, um, we can see that the first couple characters of the file here are salted underscore underscore. So if we kick up Chrome and just search for that, you can see the first result is the OpenSSL salted format. And here's the command to use OpenSSL to decrypt that file. Um, but this sentence here is pretty important. It says, in order to decrypt the file, the cipher must be known by external means, which we don't know, or it can be guessed. So basically what we're going to do is write a shell script and iterate through all the ciphers um, and turn this into a variable that iterates through each cipher, trying them one at a time. Um, and the other piece is that obviously the same goes for the password. So we need to know what the password is uh, in order to decrypt the file. So if you remember from the last video, there was a little hint inside of Etsy password. Um, and it says, do not change password will break FTP encryption. And that's for the root user. So we can guess from this little hint that the root password taro is going to be the password um, to decrypt the encrypted file in the FTP directory. Okay, so now let's take a look at the OpenSSL command and figure out how to get a list of the ciphers so that we can write a script to iterate through it. So if we open up the man page for OpenSSL, um, you can see that one of the first commands you can give it is list cipher commands. Uh, so let's try that real quick. So OpenSSL list cipher commands, and you can see it just spits out a list of all the different ciphers. Um, so now we'll create a shell script, we'll call it decrypt salary.sh, um, and we'll start this off the same way we do with every shell script, slash bin, slash bash, and so now we need to get that list of ciphers into a variable, so we'll say ciphers equals the output from the command open SSL list cipher commands, and let's just echo ciphers and see what that spits out. So we'll chmod plus x our script here, run it, and we can see that it's empty. And that's because I misspelled ciphers. C-I-P-H-E-R-S. There we go. Let's try that again. And there's our list of ciphers. Okay, so now we can use a for loop uh, to iterate through that list. So we'll get rid of this echo command here. And we'll say 4x in ciphers do, and we'll say done. So we'll create, a, we'll iterate through all of the objects inside of ciphers, and it's going to be x. So when you run this OpenSSL command and it works, there's no output. Um, but if there's an error, it'll give you output in the form of an error. So basically, we'll test the output from the command for each cipher and see if it's null or if there's an error. So we'll say output equals the result from the command open SSL and we'll give it X. So for each cipher, that's going to go right here. Say so minus D for decrypt minus in and the file is called salary DEC 2003.csv.enc and we'll say minus out and we'll call it salary decrypted.csv and if you read the man page it'll tell you to do a password you say minus pass and then you say pass colon and we'll use the root password there taro so now we need to check this output variable to see if it's empty um, then we've given it the correct cipher but if it's not it needs to continue on through the for loop to the next cipher so we'll say if square bracket space minus z space uh, variable output so basically minus z will check the variable listed here and if it's null or an empty string it'll evaluate to true so we're gonna say then and we're gonna say echo x so that will print out which algorithm it is um, that successfully decrypted the file and we'll break out of our for loop because we can stop at that point and we'll close our if block here Alright, so let's run that. 
and you can see that the algorithm that cracked it was AES 128 CBC um, which happens to be the same one from this command here so that's what they used to encrypt it so let's cat salary decrypted and there's a bunch of white space at the end of this file but if we scroll way back up here we can see here's the contents of our file um, and basically it's showing us employee information so you have employee ID, name, salary, tax status, federal allowance, um, all kinds of stuff that we shouldn't be able to see, which is probably why it was encrypted in the first place. But basically, that's the goal we were trying to get to on DEICE 1.100. Uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.